Hey guys, it's Ian the Off Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're going to be doing some ATCs. As many of you already know, I'm a part of the ATC Art Sherpa Swap Group. And hopefully a lot of you who are joining me today and are catching this on the replay are a part of that group too. Over in the chat down below, or if you've popped it out wherever you put it onto your screen, you may be seeing some chat happening and hopefully it does um, archive with this video as well so that way you can kind of follow along with chat because sometimes I will be referring to that if you're new on YouTube welcome first of all let me welcome you to YouTube and uh, that's one of the features that YouTube has is it allows you to go back and watch chat as long as it archives correctly sometimes it doesn't today we have in chat we have Nikki we have Patty uh, Nancy fancy Nancy is here uh, she is helping me out. She's one of our light keepers here on my channel along with art by Cam Ann. Um, they may be, they have the blue wrenches next to their name and they're the moderators for this chat. And so if you see uh, any links or something like that from those two people, those are links that will direct you a lot of times uh, about what I'm talking about. So say for instance, I'm talking about the Art Sherpa ATC swap group. Fancy Nancy is awesome with that keyboard and will pop it into the chat for you. I've also put a lot of links down in the description below, so if you go and sh uh, click that show more button, it will show you a whole bunch more information about uh, the ATC swap group, uh, about the other people who are on the design team like uh, Stephanie Bergeron and I keep wanting to say Tom Bergeron. You, if you watched AFV, you get me on that one. Uh, Stephanie Bergeron, Mark Bergeron, uh, we have Fancy Nancy, she is also in the Ar Art Sherpa uh, design team, uh, uh, she's one of our, oh boy, tonight's going to be a long one. For those of you who don't know, I am having a sippy sippy tonight, and I've got it in this wonderful cup. Many of you have asked uh, what I drink, and tonight I am drinking some Dr. Pepper with some good old fashioned... Uh, peach rum, which is quite delicious. So let's take a sippy sippy, right? <sighs> mm, very good. All right, so uh, yes, Nancy, sorry, thank you. Nancy's pointing out that Mark is also known as MWB Arts. Uh, Nancy, did I forget anybody else in our design team? I don't know. Yes, my shirt tonight is Hocus Pocus. I finally get to bust out all of the October and uh, Halloween and fall and all of that so I get to bring this all out one of my favorite movies of course is Hocus Pocus so thank you guys so much for joining me and of course the Art Sherpa thank you Nancy of course the Art Sherpa is a part of the ATC design group by the way let me I know this is a lot of housekeeping that we're doing at the front of this video and I apologize for that but I do want to update y'all as many of you know this um, whole design team has kind of been a, uh, it's been a test. It's been like we're beta testing it, right? We're trying to get it up and going. And each month we were getting boxes from Cinnamon and uh, John and they would be full of art supplies that we would be using for our ATCs. And after doing a couple of months of that um, and talking with the design team and with Cinnamon, uh, we are not going to be doing those art boxes every single month. We will still be doing them. You will still get to see me do unboxings. You will still get to see amazing product inside these boxes. We're just going to be going to a quarterly based box. So every quarter we'll receive a box and then we'll be able to show that. It's, it's going to work out a lot better. It's going to be, uh, you know, we appreciate y'all kind of cruising with us and going with us on this whole thing. Um, it looks my it looks like my camera may be freezing a little bit. I apologize about that. But anyways, um, just hang in there, guys, and you know we're we're gonna get this right. It it takes time, but we're gonna get it right. I feel like we've been doing pretty good, so I think that's pretty awesome. Cherry Pepsi with Jim Bean for Kim and tonight. Cheers to you, Kim. That sounds pretty good too. Yeah. So those those mystery boxes that we open up will be quarterly now so make sure to stick around um the theme for this month of course is like vintage or um i'm doing vintage that's kind of how i interpret it vintage retro all that kind of stuff uh nancy has a great uh uh volkswagen bus that she did it's over in the group make sure to go check that out 
Um, also, guys, if you're interested in becoming, becoming a part of the ATC swap group, uh, you can do that for as little as the price of a postage stamp. You just mail in your ATC and then you'll get one back. So it's pretty awesome. You can also join and be a paid member. That way you get three months of the ATC group, a whole quarter of the group, uh, and you don't have to worry about postage. So that only helps for international shipping. That is not a profit margin by any means. None. Uh, it is all going in to allow those who are overseas from America or out of the country of America or all of that, it allows them to participate as well. Speaking of which, I got to, uh, I actually went to my post office box today and I got this in the mail today. This was waiting for me in my post office box right there. Oh yeah, that is some um, ready to go ATC. So let's go ahead and open this up really quick. Ooh, drinking caramel apple. That sounds really good. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. For those of you who are a part of the ATC, uh, ATC swap group, uh, last month, I think this is last month, so let's find out. I always see these numbers and I'm always like, what are the numbers for? Alright, let's see what we got. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm excited. Dude, look at that. Man, oh man. That's awesome looking. Let's take a look at the details on the back here. Medieval Knight from Rebecca Zer... Oh, I'm going to butcher your name. I'm so sorry. Zerbus? Z-U-I-R-B-L-I-S? Zerbalus? She is in Florida, by the way, guys. So this was uh, the medieval theme for July. Look at that. Man. That is excellent. So, you know, one of the hardest things for me about this ATC is how small this is. It is so hard. To, you think, oh, it's smaller. I can do that easily, right? Yeah, no, it's harder because all the little details become even smaller whenever working on such a small canvas. So, uh, thank you so much, Rebecca. I know you didn't, like, uh, you didn't send this to me. You just kind of sent it in and then it came to me. But, Rebecca, uh had to make sure I said the right name. Rebecca, thank you so much for this. I really, really love it. It's going to go into my collection of ATCs that I have. I do collect my ATCs. I have them um, all around the room. I mean, who wouldn't? That was a dumb statement. But I'm just saying I love collecting these and uh, putting them together into a group. It's so much fun. So, <sighs> All right, so tonight... We're making two ATCs. I have ideas for two ATCs. Um, I've gone ahead and started off. I'll put it in the uh, overhead cam for y'all. I've gone ahead and gotten started um, cutting things out. These, I know it looks like there's three. There's only going to be two in just a minute. But we are going to be doing, uh, excuse me, let me put them the correct way. I used uh, some mixed media, heavyweight mixed media from Strathmore and some toned blue mixed media for these are the bases for my ATCs. Uh, remember anytime you make an ATC you're cutting it to two and a half to th uh, two and a half inches by three and a half inches. Don't know what that is in centimeters or any other measurements but two and a half by three and a half um, those are going to be the sizes that you're working from and these are both from Strathmore. Really love these pads and these pads are not for sale and I want more of these. Cinnamon I'm going to put this out there to the universe for you. Cinnamon, if you can get more pads just like this, I want these pads uh, because they are the perfect size for making ATCs. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to be doing tonight is I am going to be using my Cricut, which I have right back here. This is my, this is my baby. This is one of my babies. My other one's right over there. But this is my uh, matte black Cricut Air 2, and I love it. Anyways, it is so, it's so sexy. I freaking love this thing. I don't know how a machine can be sexy, but it is. Anyways, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I promise I have not started drinking until like literally moments before I hit the go button. All right. <laughs> I don't know where all this energy is coming from, guys. <laughs> Woo. All right, so uh, exploding box. I hope not. I hope no exploding boxes today. 
I am so distracted at the moment. I'm so sorry, Frisky. Uh, sorry, Christy. I it, it is very overwhelming. All right, so. Oh, Nancy, you were so awesome. She went out there. Uh, two and a half by three and a half equals 6.35 centimeters by 8.89 centimeters. So there you go. Good to know. For our international viewers, by the way, thank you for viewing. We greatly appreciate that. Also, guys, don't forget, um, hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, hit the bell icon. That lets you know when I go live. Kind of posted this one a little bit late, and so that's why... Uh, you may not have gotten the notification. Hopefully you have that bell icon turned on. And don't forget to like as well. And if you're so inclined, you can definitely give a super chat as well. <coughs> Choking on my own spit. Uh, if you give a super chat, it'll actually pop you uh, on, on this side of the screen. It'll pop you up saying, hey, this person is awesome and gave you a super chat. So, uh, Also, if you subscribe during this broadcast, it'll say you subscribed as well. Oh, man, I am all over the map. Thank you, Angela. Glad that you like my shirt. This is why the Sherpa does not have the chat available, because she gets distracted, and so do I, apparently. All right. Apparently, I'm cracking up Christy tonight. We are making ATCs tonight, I promise. <laughs> Patty says, Ian, we love you. Now have one more sippy sippy. I think I will. Thanks. My voice is a little bit hoarse today as well. I was working very hard over the weekend and I was um, having to project a lot and talk a lot and so my voice is a little uh, a little off. Yes, 2.54 centimeters equals one inch, just multiply. Huh, what do you know? You learn something new every day? All right, so let's go back over to the overhead cab. Wow, I'm all over the place. Um, so for one of them, all right, so the Cricut is a really cool tool because you can actually do some really fun things with it. This is called a print then cut and I have taken a picture of I love Lucy, Lucille Ball, uh, and put it onto this piece of paper and you'll see a black border around it. That's because it's actually going to get cut out. I'm going to cut this out for one of my ATCs. I know y'all don't have a picture of what I'm putting together tonight, but I think it'll become very clear once I start getting everything cut out and um, popped out. So. Um, let's go ahead and I am going to bring over my iPad. I am going to be accessing Cricut Design Space on my iPad tonight. Uh, and we have Lucille Ball right there, ready to go. And let's go ahead and hit continue. Yes, I don't have any devices connected, so I'm going to connect my Cricut Air 2. And while that's working, hopefully it's connecting in. I see it connecting in, so that's good. And it's clicking in. All right, let's go ahead and switch back to this camera. Uh, I have it set to light cardstock, which is one I want. So I think it's ready to go ahead and put this into um, the Cricut and get it started. And in just a moment, it's going to start scanning to find that image. And hopefully it will all work out the first time. It's actually going to detect where that image is on the piece of paper, which is really, really cool. Love being able to do print and cut images. It is so easy to use. Um, I also like the snap mat feature. It is definitely very helpful as well. I'm a little bit of a Cricut freak, if y'all haven't noticed, having two Cricuts. So right now you may even be able to see the light right back there. Yeah, it's actually scanning. It uses some sort of weird camera to detect that black line and figure out where it's going to be. I could have easily just cut this out, um, just a square cut, but why when I have the Cricut, right? <laughs> Don't try and make e Ian do math right now. Yeah, it's true. It would not go well at all. Hi, Law for Dreams. I think that's Law for Dreams. LA for dreams. That's what I'm going to go with at least. All right. So I have my, I love Lucy and I'm going to go ahead and stick my other mat into, as you can see, I've laid out all my colors today. So that way I can just use one mat and just have everything um, cut all at once. And that will be a lot easier. I'm going to put that in there. I am going to be using a pen tonight because it's actually going to write on my design. So I need to load my fine tip pen. I 
right, so I have my pen and that. All right, we're gonna go. All right, so while that goes, I'm gonna go ahead and, wow, <laughs> it's really going. <laughs> it made a very high pitched noise that scared me a little bit. Is Melody Lane here? Melody Lane, hello, welcome. Is there a how to cricket video? Why yes, Patty, yes there is. It's over on Melody Lane's channel. Um, also, Cricket does have intro to Cricket videos as well, so you can make things, uh, you can watch those videos and learn how to Cricket very easily from those videos. Uh, Melody actually has a intro to Design Space. Melody, how long is that? In uh, how long is that intro video? Like three hours long, I think. It's very very long. It's making some funky noises as it cuts out. I'm like, what is happening back there? All right, I'm gonna set my iPad off to the side. Guys, while that's cutting, I have to show y'all some amazing stamps that I got today. I know stamps aren't that fun, but seriously guys, these are fun stamps. I absolutely love these stamps. Um, so I keep all of my stamps in this pouch and look at these. I got these awesome dragon stamps. And yes, Melody does, um, Cricut classes every Saturday too, so you can always go do those as well. So these are the two different stamps that I got. These are dragons and the art, the art of magic. Look how cool these are. I'm not like, I'm not a huge stamp collector. I have a couple in here. I mean, I have the regular, like American flag and uh, the love and some snowflakes and Christmas ones that I didn't get the chance to use last year. Um, but like, I'm really in love with these dragons and the magic ones, they're so cool. Uh, yeah, Patty did get a cricket and it's partially my fault. <laughs> um, yeah, if you watch Melanie's videos, she does them every Saturday and they are a great way to learn how to use your Cricut. So, highly recommend going and watching Melody's videos because they are, they're very complete too. I love them. All right, it is done, supposedly. Oh wow, that was a whole lot faster. That cut a whole lot faster than I... Oh, no, let's not do that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Wrong button. I bet everybody was like, ah, what happened? All right, so um, so as you can see, it cut everything, and it even wrote... Look at that, guys. I, lo I freaking love my Maker... Or, I love my Maker and my Air 2. Both very helpful. All right. Let's go ahead and flip this over. What I do whenever I take my cuts off of my Cricut mat, I always flip it over and then I gently pull everything from the um, other side. If you try to pull the cuts off of the mat instead of pulling the mat away from the cuts, uh, sometimes you end up bending and I've even torn my paper up sometimes by doing it that way. Renee, I totally agree with you. Cricut is the best machine out there, hands down. And uh, for those of you who didn't see on my social media, I actually um, got to see Ashish again when he was in town, which was awesome. I always love getting the chance to uh, see him. I'm sorry, I'm slightly distracted as I'm trying to pull this stuff off of the uh, the mat. I think you're probably starting to get an idea of what I'm going to be making tonight. At least I hope you do. Put that over there. A lot of this is the excess cuts. I'll get to those in a minute. Don't need those. I do need this. I don't need this. I do don't need that. Don't need that. Do need this. I'm getting there, guys. Slowly but surely. Don't need that. I do need these little guys. Look how tiny these are. 
I'm kind of having trouble getting them off. They're so tiny, actually. Ooh, look at that. Look how tiny that is. That is just outrageously small. Come on. This is where I need my little uh, spatula. Let me just bring it over to the edge and pop it off that way. There we go. Look how tiny that is. It cut perfectly. You like the TV? Everybody's loving the TV so far. I think you are starting to get the idea of what I'm going to be doing with the TV. And I think that's probably going to be the second one that we work on. The first one is going to be the cassette tape. Whoops. Almost there. All right. That goes there. That goes there. All right. That should be all. Clean the rest of that off later. Yep. Uh, we're going to be doing a cassette tape and a TV tonight. I would love to work at Cricket Headquarters, too. You live 30 minutes from headquarters? That's awesome. You should um, see if uh, you can stop by sometime. I'm sure they would uh, love to, to see you. All right, so we're going to start off with this one right here. We're going to start off with our mixed tape because, of course, you have to have a mixed tape, right? If we're doing vintage and retro and all that kind of stuff, it's got to be a mixed tape. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to grab some of my art glitter glue. This was sent to me. Uh, I believe, did, Patty, were you the one that sent this to me? I think Patty was the one that sent it to me. I can't remember for sure. But I'm going to use some of this um, art glitter glue. It is not, there is no glitter in this. Like, everybody gets confused. I was confused when I first heard about this. Uh, I was like, wait, there's glitter already in it? No, there is no glitter inside of it. It is just called Art Glitter Glue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this over. Uh, I have this awesome, very fine tip on it. And Nifty Fifty cartridges. Thank you, Angela. That's kind of um, awesome that you know the cartridge by name. I should have looked that information up. I was dumb and I forgot. So I'm going to add some little bit of glue. Ooh, don't squeeze too hard, Ian. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of glue onto the back of this. Do, 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 do. This is wonderful glue because it holds very strong. It's almost like um, Tim Holtz, the uh, multimedia mat. I love that stuff a lot. That is probably my favorite go-to medium whenever uh, I'm trying to glue something down. So I'm going to take my ATC and I'm just going to squish it right on top. And the, but the best thing is I have a little bit of wiggle room. I can literally kind of place it where I need to. Right now it's kind of hanging over the edge a little bit. So let's see if I can get it moved into place before everything sets. <laughs> there we go. All right. First piece down, right? Have some more sippy sippy. Yeah, I think I will, Patty. Somebody sent me the art glitter glue, but I can't, for, I've totally forgotten who. And I apologize for that. You only need a very small amount. That is very true. You do not need a lot of this art glitter glue. It, it is, it is powerful stuff, let me tell you. So our next piece is going to go right there. Let me get some more of this art glitter glue. Do, do, do. How's everybody doing tonight, by the way? That is a lot. I don't need that much. <laughs> I need some sippy sippy. Renee, everybody needs sippy sippy. So we're going to put that down right about there. Same thing for the other side. Give it a couple seconds to uh, set. I could even put acrylic, an acrylic block on it if I wanted to, but. Look how cool that is. I love, I'm gonna turn close up cam. Look how cool that looks. I love that it has the little written mixtape on it. I think that's a perfect little, um, a little gem for it. Bad influence. Patty is a bad influence, but I love it. 
Renee should be doing chemistry reading, but you need a break. Yes, Renee, you do need a break. A break. What kind of what kind of uh, chemistry would you be? You know what? I should totally put a pencil on the back of it, because every um, every cassette tape needed a pencil, so that way you could uh, <laughs> that way you could uh, in, you could um, wind it whenever it got whenever it broke. All right, so a little bit more glue here. I'm going to try and make as small of a glue line as possible. I'm so glad y'all are liking this. I was afraid that this would be too simplistic, to be honest. I was afraid it was going to be too simplistic for an ATC, but I'm, I'm, y'all are telling me it's, it's awesome, so I'm, I'm very happy about that. All right, let me get this in the right spot, right about there. There we go, guys. There's our first one. That did not take long at all. That one actually went pretty, pretty quickly. Be kind, rewind. I remember, I remember that. Wendy forgot about the pencil. You know, what's really funny is I, I'm old enough to remember having to take a pencil and shove it in there to, to wind them because there were a couple of cassette tapes when I was very, very young and had um, one of those kid toy um, cassette players, the one that had the handle and it was a brown, if I remember correctly. Uh, you could even use it to record. It would record and then you could play and yeah. Anyways, I remember that and sometimes I would, I was a young kid, I would push buttons randomly and the tape would come out and you would have to get a pencil and stick it back in and wind it back up. So, really funny. Sorry, I'm stuck on chat right now. I love that you use your Cricut to make ATCs. I do too. I think it's a lot of fun. I, Nikki out of the blue says I need new stainless steel pan, uh, pens. Pens! I thought that said pans. I gotcha. Okay, there was somewhere that said the chemistry. Basic Intro to Chemistry for Medical Laboratory Science Program. I am trying to get into. My goodness, Renee. Bravo to you. Like, seriously. High five. Bravo. Renee, you are... are wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you go. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, now we're going to go ahead and move on to our next ATC. Uh, let me switch back over to the overhead cam. All right, so I'm going to set this one aside, let it dry. That's going to be our first ATC for tonight. Our second one is going to be an I Love Lucy themed one. Uh, so I have my TV. I have my uh, base. So that's going to go on there like that. Something doesn't feel right. No, this is right. This is totally right. First of all, it is backwards, I think. I think it's supposed to go this way. That's the only bad thing about... Yes, it does go this way. All right, so we'll do it like that. And then... Uh, should have cut it in silver. But that's all right. So this is how our TV is going to look tonight. We're going to do this kind of retro blue color. I, I picked this turquoise blue because I feel like it would be an actual color that a TV might, uh, might come out to be, right? Something like that? Yeah, uh, we're going to do it just like that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some art glitter glue onto the back of this piece. I didn't, if 8-tracks were a thing during my lifetime, I don't remember them. They were probably very early, like very early life for me. I do remember... When I was in college, the art lab uh, had an 8-track player in it. And while you were developing your film, you could play an 8-track. Alright, so I got a little of the art glitter glue where I wasn't supposed to. 
it's not a big deal. It does dry, I believe, kind of matte-ish. So I'm kind of, I got, I apparently had a lot of glue back there. That's okay. It'll add to the ambience, right? All right, next I'm going to apply the glue onto my frame. And I'm slightly off camera. I apologize, guys. I wasn't paying attention. I have it on close-up cam right now because we're dealing with kind of small pieces here. There we go. I'll pull that up just like that. So now I'm going to stick that right there. Kind of get it into place. Guys, what do you think about that TV? It's looking pretty cool. Have our little buttons now. And I'm literally just gonna like take a drop of this glue. Oh, that was a bubble. It does dry clear. I do have, I'm, I'm lucky about that. So there's our first, oh my goodness. I am just <laughs> all over the place there. All right. So there's one button. I'm so glad that I picked the right colors. Everybody's loving these colors. So I'm going to put another drop right there. I think I, I might even take this pin and like put it into place. This is the pin from the art glitter glue. I think it'll, there we go. Oop, and it just moved. Stay right there. Give me a second, guys. Gonna take a sippy sippy. Ah, mm, yum. Yum, yum, yum. All right. So this is going to go right back here. Look how cute that is, guys. Oh, my God. I love it. I freaking love that. That's going to be perfect. Hopefully, I love Lucy doesn't sue me. <laughs> Please don't sue me. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do for this, uh, this is a piece of glitter cardstock from Cricut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, my art glitter glue and I'm just going to go all the way around this base, putting the um, glue down. And then I'm going to take my glitter cardstock and I'm going to set it right on top. Line everything up. Make sure that getting the glue into all the crevices. And we're just going to hang out here for just a second. I do want to make sure that um, this is set pretty well. So I am going to um, just keep my fingers on it for just a second. The art glitter glue does dry very quickly, but I really want to make sure this is set before I actually move on to uh, putting this whole thing together. So I'm going to take another sippy sippy. For those of you who didn't get to see this earlier, just here for the booze. Got to break out my uh, fun Halloween glassware, right? Glitter! Oh my god, screaming. <laughs> I, so I don't typically like glitter cardstock. 99.9999999% of the time, the glitter comes off. It goes everywhere. You find it for weeks in places you didn't know you had. Uh, and so... Typically, I don't like dealing with glitter cardstocks, but the one from Cricut is, there's something different about it because it does not rub off. It sticks. It really does not come off. So it, there's something about it that's just kind of crazy. All right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting the TV on top of the glitter cardstock. And we're going to slip this underneath. So first thing that I need to do is I need to glue down 
the picture of Lucy to my TV. And to do that, I'm going to take just a little bit of this glue, and I have major air bubbles happening. Wipe off that air bubble. So I'm going to take just a hair of this glue. I'm just going to go around just enough to get Lucy set. We don't want too much glue because we definitely don't want it oozing out the sides. So I'm going to put Lucy right there. Yes, Sippy Sippy is from Graveyard Girl. I will give her credit 100%. She is the one that inspired so many people to say sippy sippy. All right. What do you think, guys? Right about there? I think that looks pretty good. None of the Lucy is sticking out the sides. So we're going to set that right there. Just needs shag carpet. Brutus Monroe glitter cardstock that does not shed. I'm gonna have to check into that as well. I have I have a million packets of Cricut in all different kinds of colors, uh, so I, I probably will not be using it up anytime soon. Look how cute that is, guys! I'm loving it. So this is going to go right on there. More glue on the back of all of this. Coat the whole thing in glue, dot, ooh, that was a lot. Dot, dot, not a lot, but it was a lot. And then a little glue here, a little there, a little bit there, and a little there. And then we're gonna glue this down onto our glitter cardstock. I think it is Vitamegevigen, Vitavigen, Vegemin, yeah, that one. I think it is that, if I remember correctly. I just grabbed this picture off of, of uh, where did I grab this picture off of? Uh, Google. Off the Googles. Uh, I don't have any paper towels. Shoot, I forgot paper towels. Where did I put, well... All right, we'll just use my fingers, it's fine. Um, all right, so I'm gonna let that set for just a minute, and while that's setting, I'm gonna grab a bottle of another product. Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, let me put this pen back in so it doesn't dry. So I'm gonna let this dry for just a moment, um, making sure that that uh, glue really sticks into the glitter since it is erased texture it could have some issues sticking luckily enough art glitter glue is um, pretty awesome I'm singing its praises may may I'm singing its praises and sending everybody your way uh, art glitter glue can be found over on uh, may 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 made it website so make sure to go check it out there uh, I feel like I'm saying vitamin 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 I can never get it right vitamin and vegemite I've been drinking and I can't say it. All right, let me grab that bottle really quickly. Y'all chat amongst yourselves for half a second while I look. Um, oh dear. Oh wait, here it is. I found it. Never mind. I thought I got rid of it, but I meant to grab this bottle earlier before we started this whole live process, but yeah, there you go. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I've grabbed my bottle of liquid glass. This one is from uh, Close to My Heart. There's another bottle that is, uh, what is that one called? Glossy, glossy Accents. I keep calling it Glassy. Glossy Accents. Uh, this one is called Liquid Glass. Uh, they're the same thing. It's the same product. Um, they just have different names because they're different companies. I have a bottle of Glossy Accents, but I can't open it because the Glossy Accents has actually solidified onto the lid. I'm going to have to stick it in water and try to get it undone. 
but I'm going to use that to add some glass texture. I think this is pretty dry. Yeah, that's pretty good and dry. I mean, it's not dry dry, but it's at least enough where I can work with it some more. There are four, 34 people watching. Oh my gosh. I think that's got to be like a record or something. I thought you meant to grab a bottle because it was... Oh man. Yeah, I need to get some more actually because my glass is empty. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to burp this. Um, whoo, there was a bubble. Did anybody just see that, man? Close up cam. I'm going to go ahead and get this started off to the side. Uh, so that way the bubbles are out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the screen of the TV with this glossy accents. And what's going to happen is you'll notice as it's coming out, it is very milky. It has a very cloudy, milky look to it. Once it hardens, it will uh, turn into a clear window. Uh, lots of people like to use this on like astronauts or flowers for the centers or lots of different things. I have to be careful though because sometimes it does warp my papers and I'm hoping that this one doesn't warp but I think we're, we'll be okay. I think I glued it down pretty well. Sorry, I was concentrating for a second. All right, so that's that. I'm also gonna put it right here in the center of our mixed tape. Am I on screen still? Yeah. I was scared I had gone off screen again. Make sure to get it all the way to the edge. I wasn't talking there because I was concentrating very hard. Glossy accents has a mind of its own sometimes. You really have to be careful with it. All right, so there we go. Uh, let me burp the bottle and grab a... Uh, where did my wet wipes go? Oh, here they are. Hold on. Getting some wet wipes so that way I can clean my bottle. If you do use glossy accents or any type... Oh, I just stuck my finger in it. <laughs> if you use any type of glossy accents or something like that, make sure that you're cleaning the top of your bottle. Make sure that you're burping your bottle. And by burping your bottle, I mean when it's upright, make sure you're squeezing out um, extra product so that way it doesn't get stick in stuck in your nozzle because that's what ends up causing it to get clogged. I had several bottles clog on me. So I'm just going to burp it a little bit, kind of squeeze in it just to make sure that I have enough product or the products out of, out of there. All right, so now I have to let these set. I can't move them um, very much. You don't really want to move them too much because if you move them too much, they are going to, um, the liquid is going to move around, right? So you don't want that to happen. Um, and especially if your table is unlevel, um, your glossy accents will dry unlevel as well. So there we go. We have our I Love Lucy Retro TV and a Retro Mixtape number one that is uh, ready to go. I'm gonna let these dry. Oh, a bubble formed. I don't want that bubble. How am I gonna clean this? All right, let's grab this pen. If bubbles form inside of your glossy accents, you can easily pop them by using a pen. Let me get those bubbles out. On the mixtape, it's not so worrisome to me. I like to get it out, but this one is being mean <laughs> doesn't want to pop so my husband found a box in the garage that had all of my copics and distress inks oh no two years and they still worked perfectly how did that happen madonna thank you so much i love these i think these came out great all right there we go. Two ATC, ATCs ready to go. Guys, remember, if you haven't already joined the ATC group, you can be a part of it. You can start this month being a part of it. Um, all you have to do is create an ATC, two and a half by three and a half, and then send it in to the Art Sherpa uh, ATC swap group. Once you do that, you'll get one back in return. Just cost a postage stamp, so don't forget to include that postage stamp 
along with it so that way uh, it's a loose postage stamp right so don't stick it inside somewhere uh, just send a loose postage stamp along and they'll get one back to you so anyways all right guys i think that's gonna do it for today's video i hope y'all enjoyed me creating these atcs i've got to let them dry so they're gonna stay right here overnight uh usually glossy accents doesn't take very long to dry but i feel like this is a little bit of a thicker level to it so i'm just gonna let it sit overnight and not worry about um having it get messed up or anything like that so i hope everybody has a great night thank you uh, thank you again for joining me i really do appreciate it and don't forget if you're not already subscribed hit that button down below that says subscribe you should if you're catching this on the replay also see it somewhere on the screen as well i believe uh and also if you're catching this on the replay over on this side over here we have some other great videos of mine that you will probably want to check out so i hope everybody has a great night and remember guys always Normal is just a setting on the dryer, right? I hope I said that correctly. I'm going to go with that. Anyways, have a great night, everybody, and we'll see you very, very soon. Bye, everyone.